So you can see here that uh, they're going to go for that heavy push on B and go straight for the bridge. They have to be quick. If they knock yeah. down the ladders, they might be able to slow them down fast enough to where they can take out. But they're all starting on the A side. Do you see that? Yeah, they're definitely going to yeah, go for so this. They have some sword shorts. Yeah. Um, oh, they're trapping. Yeah, that's smart. They're taking out any artillery. Oh, trying to cut off the retreat. A point bang on time if that had been a second or two late have more time to strategize for a but it looks like they're going straight for c they're not gonna fight yeah for i don't think they're gonna defend a ah. maybe this was the strategy all along just completely abandon the a and the b point just to fall back to that supply i mean that supply on c point is a really sort of strong holding point i mean it yeah. can be quite hard to root people out of there I wonder if they're gonna use any um, Falconettis or archers to shoot into the supply to kind of put enough pressure so they can go for a push on it, because it's so hard to push that as the attackers because you're you do have the wall defending you, but once you get around that wall, it's just I don't know, it, it's just too hard because they're so well defended inside that point and they're healing, right? So it's like it's like you got to fight against healing units, um, heroes that can pull more units, you know, like yeah. it's. It's gonna be rough. They have to get right onto the point. Yeah, feeling at that supply point. Oh, here comes oh, the Oh, they make a pushing. quick switch to see. Yeah, they're going for it. Um, nice. They kind of stopped. Um, maybe it's so they get a setup. Um, oh, look at look at what they're, oh, they're trying doing to a do. Double bluff. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I see here. That's Ooh, that's and interesting. And the good use of a trebuchet. They tried to use a trebuchet to stop the keyboard warriors being able to get back into their supply point. That's smart. Here they go. I like this. Oh, the Falcos yeah, are there good, though. Good. They're ready. They're and ready the for the fight. Going in. Oh, look at the malls so go really at each other. Oh. Yep. <laughs> yeah, this is what we're looking for. That was a really solid push. That actually worked surprisingly well. That sort of double bluff they oh, did. Oh, Varric got uh, Phoenix on that one. First blood oh. of the match. It looks like they've had uh, one a person drop out maybe. Yeah, that's yeah, unfortunate. Yeah, sacred. Um, oh, they're trapping again. Okay. I wonder if that's gonna hit. Um, oh, they're they're not bad. That, they're making a play. That's for sure. It's a good play. They are being rear flanked by oh, now. Some of the remaining yeah. keyboard warriors coming around the back. They've tried to set up stalwarts to kind of try and hold them in, but I think it's probably not gonna happen for them. But it was a really good push all the same. Yeah. Yeah. They're. Yeah. That was a smart play. Hmm. That was a very I smart agree. play to come around um, and just put pressure on the back because they knew the front push was too heavy. Trying to do things like that double bluff is absolutely the move they need to be doing to, to, to try and take advantage of things like that. So now they're moving over to C. Like, I feel like they hmm. could have done that where they had a, they could have um, baited the point and then went for C. Mm -hmm. I see that a lot too. Um, their trebs yeah. are really on point though. Like, their trebs have been absolutely. great. Absolutely. I'm. They're probably trying to be strategic about units. Um, that's very important. Uh, mm -hmm. Yep, and, yep. And, heavy and C push. It, yeah, they are. And and yeah. unit, unit kill to loss is actually still pretty even there. I mean, Forsaken are not out of this yet. They've still got a lot of stuff in play to use here. Oh yeah, they're heavy right now. Um, they, they're gonna have to deal with all this um, from the, the right flank here. They're, they're gonna have to deal yep. with that. Um, but they're and handling the left flank the pretty point. good. Oh yeah. Yeah, they are. They, they, they've cleared out oh, the yeah. Now they've got their Hazards coming in. Look, Hazards are coming down. They can get this flank in. This is the play that they needed all oh, along. Oh, here they go. The here we go. Yep, that's oh, what they... Yep. Now the imp bike walks them. down though, right? So they can't use it on the infantry. <laughs> no. Oh, and a it's lance close, connect they... charge. Did you see that? Mm, they had a quite a few lance hero charge. kills. Look, Forsaken. Yeah, they're definitely doing good. Joris got a kill there on Flynn. Um, Lehman got whiskey. Yeah, it's a very back and forth, but it looks it, it looks like keyboard warriors are definitely holding this down. They're they're out they're just beating the one v ones. Like the one v ones, they're just getting yeah. the kills, which is unfortunate for um, Forsaken. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I don't know if you they're doing a lot of individual like little tactical plays. I don't know if you notice at the back there, Andy Bogard managed to get him actually sort of being there in support. Yeah, I mean, looking at hero kills alone, like uh, Forsaken has eight, and then uh, Keyboard Warriors has twenty-six. So like, they're definitely focusing the heroes, yeah. and then going after the units is my guess. All right, here we go. Here's a strong fight going on right here. 
Yeah, they're making the push. Six. Also, you notice at the back, they've managed to get in on the Forsaken Falcos. They flanked them and killed oh, their, their Falconetti. There we go. Cam went crazy again. Well, it looks uh -huh. like their, um, their push has been blunted a lot quicker oh, this time. Oh, yeah. Keyboard Warriors going out. They're just going for them now. Almost like counter-attacking. I think this is probably uh, it. It's the game for Keyboard. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. They just wiped them right there, uh, unfortunately. Uh, lots of damage, though. On the, like we, They have the short bow in the background, you know, to throw all that damage at them also. Facing them down now. Um, Simp Lady yeah. was hiding on top of the tower. They found her. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, good fight, guys. Good fight. Falconetti. Um, I thought they would go for more than that because, as you say, it's getting the towers in that's the hard part. You know, if you can keep them away, and, and as you say, if you can keep them out of that side door as well, whether we're going to see any big fights for that side door. Walls. So, Whoa, that it looks weak. like they still have <laughs> towers in. I'm curious. Yeah. yeah. I feel like they're, they're, they're concentrating their heroes on one side. I feel that's... Who called that come um. in? Was that... Was that Isma Black on top of the tower aiming in there? I, I'm not sure which yeah, of them probably. pulled that crib in. That was oh, a good Flynn got a, Flynn got a kill here. They're starting to fight here right at the... Uh, let's see if I can get in on some of this. Let's see here. They're, they're, let's see. I want to see what swords. they're looking at. Yeah, let's their short swords are playing very selflessly. You know, some of them are just pushing forward, getting themselves killed, but effectively drawing away from the front of that tower to try and give them that clear oh, they... to get off. They're using Falconetti as the push. Are you, you seeing that? Oh, yeah. Straight They're into shotgunning power. Point them. blank range. Yeah. yeah. No unit survives a cannibal to the face, do they say? Oh, it's they're getting in here. Tactic. Oh, they're getting oh, in. Oh. This is a good push. What a push. And here they come. They're flooding out the tower now. Yeah, the Treb is definitely handling that right side so they can push yeah. left. Great, great idea. That was, they're, they're, that was actually, yeah. They're running. They're running for it. Yeah, changers. And that's what I love about them. Um, I'm curious on if they have them bottom or top line because if you're playing them that close, they definitely have the movement speed. Like you see how, yeah, they have the artillery advantage now with mortars, um, which is going to be so useful for getting around these corners um, yeah. and getting that first push onto the point. Yeah, I mean, look at it. I mean, they're just absolutely obliterating everything around the around the base point, and now they're making their push up look. And if mm, they can move yep. up, they're just going to get slaughtered by the mortars. Yeah, and like they're trying to flank, but they're way too far out for these flanks. Like, yeah, um, Phoenix is going right there. There's a cav, yeah. There's a cav fight going on there. Yeah, he yeah. lost a and little bit. Yeah, they're trying to get flanked, but as you say, I think we're almost mm, too far. Yeah. Out. Not here's, really on time. There's the battle going on right here. Like they're heavy, really heavy on the point. Um, plenty yeah. of units to work with. Falco's right there. Look at that, right in the front lines. That is a great way to use Falconettis. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, they're, they're all dead, though. Oh, oh, no. All the Falcos got taken out. And the Glaive got uh, around the back. Oh, Whiskey got a kill there. Um, they need to keep killing these heroes. If they kill the heroes, they'll be better off. And then they also have Falcos shooting in here. We look from this side. They have uh, Nomcons, uh, Falcos. Yep. Yeah, that's why they're yeah, they using do. so much defense. Yeah. Uh, by the supply because they got it. Oh, 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 bird of Quinn is coming through here. Oh, the Falcos. No. Oh, yeah, that's, they're getting, that's clinched. Yeah. That might have done it. That might be game. That, that move there. No, the front right line is still good, though. This front line is still good. So they can True. maybe fall on that. They did trub themselves a little bit there. Um, Ooh, here comes the Hazar charge. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're definitely trying to. Yeah, see, here's the hero. Um, on hero fights that are happening it looks like keyboard warriors are just grouping up a lot better and yep. taking them out one by one and that's that's kind of what they've been doing this whole time they group up very well and then they just eliminate the heroes very quickly um, yeah and, and they've had like it, almost they have a double stronghold the now they? yeah they have a stronghold here now um they're, they're pushing though they're oh yeah they're Think trying it's, they've I think keyboard oh. have got a front line set up, maybe. Yeah, they're trying to get through here. You <laughs> got some push. short swords on the point. Yeah. A dual blade trying to go for... Oh, the dual blade um, is going for the archers. Great nice. play. He got a bow. Um, but they're still having a hard time. Yeah, still having a really hard time trying to get through this. There well, is the imp kind of walk. through a little bit. Imp pike pushing through. They gave it a real solid pushback. I mean, fair play. I mean, they were in a pretty tough spot there at the end. And they really did group up a Forsaken and actually make the push to try and save the point. 
I think it's collapsed oh. now, but... Yeah, look at the Solid heroes fight. alive. Yeah, they just yeah. don't have the heroes to fight. Um, yeah. They picked up um, a good number of kills though at the end there. They tried. They really gave it a solid push. Yeah, they cleared. That that's that was that was a clear right there. Um, good fight. Good fight. Um, that was a great push. They had some excellent yeah. pushes there. That that's what Absolutely. makes or breaks, you know. So.